Hi, it's Ned Baker. This is uh, the um, painting, some of the paintings that I did in the uh, beginning of this year. Uh, seeing that we're a uh, quarter of the way through the year already. A bit of a shock to realise that. This is a painting that I did um, out of my head, uh, trying to, to do a, uh, the castle up the top. It uh, was the first one and uh, just a normal uh, landscape. This one is called um, Sun Island. Um, I asked my daughter which one, what, what am I going to call it and she came up with uh, Sun Island and uh, that was uh, going to be uh, a um, wet on wet and uh, I ended up changing my mind uh, because of the saddle here. Uh, it looked like a uh, saddle at, around my hometown in Gloucester on the Great Dividing Range of Australia and uh, that's uh, the reason for that painting. The old Water wheel. I think that uh, come from uh, a, uh, a Bob Ross one. He had something like that, and uh, but it was all uh, green trees behind it, and I just wanted to make a a bit different to. Uh, so I put the autumn trees in the background, and uh, to uh, create a different look. The foreground bit along here could have been a little bit lighter to. Uh, uh, to make the that uh, <coughs> to uh, uh, words missing. Uh, this one is um, as a copy of um, David Willis' painting that he's the artist who who's the um, an Irish painter and he does uh, a TV show in Ireland. Irish uh, mag paint magic or magic painting. Yeah. And uh, I uh, done the hills as they would be in Australia, it's not Ireland, but the remainder of it is uh, the same as, uh, as his with the, the uh, little cottage in the, down the bottom. The black and white one, it uh, was a uh, one that I did to uh, to uh, a practice because I want to do a uh, another one which uh, got a little bit more colour in it, but uh, that's a practice one for uh, a, a, a black canvas and uh, with uh, the lights behind the trees and uh, at the break of day. This one here is the uh, is uh, Northern Lights and it was uh, done uh, to on a, another black canvas with uh, the uh, northern lights running through and diffusing the lights in the city on, and uh, creating the colours in the, in, the, in the sea. This is the one just come out of my head. Um, I, uh, when I did this one there was nothing planned. I just sat down and started to do the uh, the painting and uh, it uh, came out of uh, out of nowhere really and uh, it ended up being a quite a uh, nice painting so it, uh, with the gum trees and the rocks and the, and the fishing area this one here is um, is from a uh, 
uh, out of the mind again and uh, it uh, just a, um, a property uh, with the, uh, the road running from the, the, the back ground uh, left and running into the house and then the house uh, on the river looking and the painting is looking down into this area here and across the uh, across the paddocks this one here is um, the uh, painting that I uh, did uh, to uh, represent uh, an Australian outback uh, scene with the uh, purplish coloured uh, mountains that uh, we see uh, around here and coming back in to uh, cross the open open land to a, to a river and uh, that uh, with the uh, nice um, colours running through the, uh, the foreground. This one here is uh, the uh, Scandinavian um, winter scene which uh, I got from uh, a photograph that was um, listed on uh, Pine, Pine, Pine Rest um, site and uh, you can uh, go to the Pint Rest site and get uh, uh, a lot of photographs up there for free and um, and do your painting, all you've got to do is to acknowledge the, uh, the person who has uh, taken the photograph. This one here was taken was taken uh, off uh, that last one but uh, I uh, done it to represent uh, uh, the snowlands uh, in Australia with the, um, the gum trees uh, on the edge of the, uh, the pond which it, um, is uh, turning to, uh, to ice. That one here is uh, the, one, the first uh, painting that I put into a contest that, uh, that got a prize. That's um, a, a uh, petrified tree stump uh, in the outback of, uh, of Australia. This one here is um, a copy of a um, autumn scene that uh, I seen um, that uh, was done by um, the artist has skipped my mind at the present time. Bill Alexander uh, and uh, I had done one of these um, a, a couple of years ago but uh, I just wanted to do a brighter one. This one here is uh, Australian snow scene again. Um, I uh, done this one in a very light colours because of the diffused light uh, around uh, the, uh, the snow uh, and uh, the, uh, with the uh, sunset uh, or sunrise uh, happening uh, at the same time it has uh, created a, uh, a very light painting. Colourful duck is uh, done off a um, off of, uh, a uh, a picture that I've seen, and uh, this is my uh, very first attempt of uh, doing a wildlife um, painting. The, uh, I'm going to try to do another one because the brightness of the of the reds on the head and around the chest. Uh, uh, not bright enough. They they turn out um, 
on the camera to be uh, a um, very um, browny red and, and the, instead of uh, a very bright red. This one here is uh, a, um, I've done th three of these starting off with a very small one. Uh, these uh, is um, taken off Bob Ross's, um, one of Bob Ross's paintings, um, Fisherman's Cabin. And uh, this one has got a very dark uh, skyline and water. And uh, this one I did the hills with the, with the knife. And uh, the next one is a little bit larger. And th that one I did the, uh, the hills with, the, uh, with a brush and not the knife. And uh, made the skyline lighter and uh, the water line. This one here I did um, about two weeks before I even seen the, um, the Bob Ross uh, painting. That it, uh, it looked uh, very much like, uh, like it. Um, that it was done as uh, an autumn scene at a, at a fisherman's cabin. And uh, it's got um, the poplar trees behind it. And then the... Uh, the autumn uh, shrubbery uh, around the uh, the cabin with the uh, the autumn leaves and that uh, on the on the lake and this is the big painting of uh, the uh, Bob Ross uh, one which I've done completely different again um, I did the uh, the mountains with the uh, with the knife and um, created uh, the uh, the trees uh, line with the, the breaks of uh, a blue behind it to uh, sort of represent uh, the water uh, behind the uh, the trees as well. And coming forward, I have uh, maintained the uh, the colours near uh, the uh, Bob Ross colours except for the, the tree and uh, these uh, red trees here and the rocks I've put in more the rocks uh, in this side and to uh, make it uh, just that little bit different than uh, what the uh, the one of uh, Bob Ross is like now, <coughs> Now I've got to swing the, the camera around and uh, because this is the la latest one that I uh, that I've done with uh, double pu double canvas it's uh, just a uh, seascape scene and that's uh, measurements are um, two uh, canvases of uh, 20 by 24 inch, so 48 inch uh, by 20 inch, and uh, that is uh, that is that one. I can't get back any further. <laughs> yeah, that'll do, Dot. Thanks very much. That's uh, that's it. And uh, behind there are a lot of the uh, paintings that I'd done uh, when I was uh, first starting off. And that's about it. I hope um, this time that I can uh, get this one onto the the uh, onto YouTube. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye now.